door. Get the door. Get the door. Um, hopping over to the next story here. And this one is a long one. So. And this was moving away ready. from anything that we've experienced, thankfully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thankfully. Thank God. Um, but yeah. Just kind of sit down and get some popcorn and enjoy this one because, <laughs> gosh, this is long. This story requires some context. But let me start off from the beginning. I packed up and moved into a student house for my first year of university. It was exciting. I lived with six other people and they were all super cool. But this one dude, I'll call him Jack, had a really bad odor all the time. None of us said anything because one, awkward, and two, maybe he had some medical issues. I don't know. So it comes to the end of the year and since we all get along really well, we decided to move out to a new place together. We moved in to start the second year of university, but this guy's smell is getting dramatically worse. I don't even know how to describe it, like a mixture of mold, old cheese, and B.O. It got so bad that none of us could eat in the same room as him, let alone sit next to him and actually have a conversation. What was also weird was that he used to wear three pairs of trousers at one time, like some jogging bottoms, some jeans, and then another pair of jeans on top. We ignored the smell for another year until it became too much. We all discussed a very obvious issue, and after weeks of dropping hints, we decided the guy he was closest to should tell him directly. So he did. I would and not he, want to be that person. <laughs> oh, yeah, hell. he smelled like shit, dude. <laughs> he <laughs> he smelled like horrible. Like, like ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, maybe he had some medic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, where the fuck am I? Where did it go off? <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, so he did, and he got ignored completely. But then another issue arises. You not only get mice, but a bed bug infestation. It was horrific. Our landlord called out an exterminator who had to go in all of our rooms to fumigate. Jack got pulled aside and spoken to individually, but we thought maybe he was talking bills, etc. and didn't think to ask. Everything seemed okay and they said they'd be back in 10 days to make sure it worked. Jack still smelled really bad, but that seemed like the least of our troubles. Then suddenly, Jack disappeared, saying he had gone home for a break or whatever in the middle of the academic year. Uh, anyways, the fumigators came back and me and two other girls were in the living room, letting them do their thing. Then the men come downstairs. I will never forget this conversation. Have you noticed a strange smell about the guy in room three? Yeah, since we've known him. How would you describe that smell? Shit. Yeah. We all went white and stared at each other in disbelief, thinking that he was trying to wind us up. But no. Not only was his room crawling in bugs and all sorts, he was shitting in his room in seven suitcases and using his curtains as toilet paper. The bathroom oh, was next God. door to him. The man proceeded to bring down all the evidence and go through every atom in the garden. They were clearly also in shock because they kept nervously laughing and gagging when they found a huge lump of turd or really badly stained jeans covered in shit. Since it's Definitely not their job to dispose of all of that. They left it all for us in bin bags in our garden. The landlord tried to help us, but he was so disturbed and angry about the whole thing that he wasn't much help. Safe to say that the guy never returned and had to pay thousands in damage. They put in a new carpet, bed, curtains, painted the walls. It was all destroyed with feces. His mom turned up to clean on his behalf, though, and cried when she saw his room. Maybe he has some mental health problems? I don't even know. But still thinking about it, to this day, it makes me cringe. Roommate filled his room in seven suitcases with shit for two years, which attracted mice and bedbugs, and then disappeared. What a shitty situation. <laughs> Honestly. <But then>, sh <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dude. like, what the fuck is this guy what? up to? Literally shitting on his... Free time. Oh, for, the first <laughs> for the first half of the story, I so thought weird. that it was all guys. I was like, mm -hmm. only guys would be like, oh yeah, one of our roommates smells like shit. So we just like, don't do anything about it. <laughs> and then we decided to be like, hey, mm -hmm. move in with us into this new place. For real. Oh my God. I, I don't understand. But no, it's girls. It's girls. Yeah, it yeah. was like, I think it was mostly girls and then one dude, huh? Mm-hmm why what how the hell i have so many questions like everything is fucked up and what I the don't heck just live with someone for like months on end and i'm not gonna tell them about their bo i'm like dude i, I can't stand living in my own house like i, I wonder I how close they were i can't eat in if he's in the living room <laughs> like what Ooh. that's so gross i wonder how 
I wonder how close they were. Because, like, if I was me and my homies, I would have told them, like, day like, two, yo, you smell like smell ass, like, dude. You like, like you need to, yeah, you need to, well, like. I think, yeah, I think I would do the same thing. I mean, depends on how close. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, it's awkward. Dude, now we Seven know why he was wearing three trousers. Because he was oh, yeah. shitting himself the whole time? Because he was shitting, cleaning himself with, with curtains. So, it's like. Maybe he just couldn't hold, hold it in or something. But, like. <laughs> The restroom was right, right next, next to him. Yeah, that's true. But also, like, think about this, okay? If you were, like, if, you, if you're gonna... He in suitcases. Think about that. He's that's like, I'm ready of... to move with my shit anytime. <laughs> <laughs> next to the, uh, onto the next victim. Yeah. <laughs> next room. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna, like, if you shit yourself, right? Why would you clean yourself on curtains? Just yeah. go and take a shower or something. Go, like, clean yourself on the toilet. Whatever, right? Like, go. There's so much. Yeah. It sounds like that was their habit, though. Like, it, maybe they didn't even use the restroom. Probably. I don't know. Maybe they um, didn't shower? Maybe. That's so weird. Because he's always wearing trousers. Like, three pairs of clothing. I think to um, cover the smell. There was, this, there was a person here. Uh, well, there was, like, a, yeah, a commenter here who kind of, like, had a, somewhat of an experience with this. Um, uh, but they said, uh, sad that his mom had a clean and cried. I'm thinking she knew he was disturbed. I live with a paranoid schizophrenic for many years, first husband, and they do things like this. And you feel helpless in the face of this horrible illness. And uh, OP then goes to say, yeah, it was. He was one of our closest friends. So it was crazy that he had this whole thing going on and none of us knew about it. I think maybe he endured some abuse. We lived with a girl taking meds for his schizophrenic. So I feel like he would have said after she did. We were all pretty close. Who knows? Just hope he's better now. Dang. Dang. I used to, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, we don't, we didn't really get it. Like, we don't know if he actually has schizophrenia or not. But if he did, that really sucks. On, if though. he doesn't, I don't understand this man. Yeah, because that's something like not normal. I mean, yeah. No. Yeah. So. That, like, I think the weirdest part is like how, how like, I guess. The most disturbing part is they were close friends for a long time. Yeah. And none of them knew about this. Mm -hmm. I wonder how school, like going to school was. I wonder how to go in college or whatever it was. Like, did he just smell really bad inside the classroom and stuff and just nobody cared? Nobody ever told him anything? Nobody talked to this guy? You know what, though? You know how you said, what if he doesn't have any health issues and you don't understand? Mm -hmm. That actually, I just remembered something. And I'm kind of calling out one of my cousins. But I have like a hundred cousins, so Mm -hmm. no one will ever know who it was. But I have a cousin. I'm super close to her. And she, like, used to pee herself even into teenage years. Mm -hmm. Like, um, she went to therapy. And I'm not really sure if if there was a reason for Mm -hmm. it or not. And when I would talk to her, like, hey, like, why don't you just go to the restroom? Mm-hmm. Why don't you, like, let us know or whatever? She would just, like, she didn't have a reason. She's like, I don't know. I just, I just, I just don't ask. And she just hold it until she couldn't. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. And then it stopped, you know? Like, it probably was until she was 13 or something. And then mm-hmm. and she, she's, like, normal yeah so, like, i don't know what she did that for uh, several years it was like for a long long time strange yeah, yeah almost half um of- so, so i don't know why people would do things that just don't make sense yeah, yeah. there's like yeah I, this guy had a lot of things going on because i'm reading through the comments here um that lp is saying and he actually mentioned that like he the, the guy did shower so like there's that right mm. but after immediately after getting out of the shower he put he would put on this nightgown that like was never washed oh. like he just it just smelled disgusting like oh. so it kind of defeated the purpose of shower right so he would put it on and just if he was crunchy if he is crystal <laughs> yeah oh that's nasty <laughs> why did you need to say that <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing that uh, came into my head <laughs> if this person has schizophrenia it, I'm sorry and it does like but it, this is a little bit funny but like OP says that like it, whenever they walked past, whenever the guy walked past him it seemed like it, he was smelling just a dead person so like oh that because like, it just smelled that bad like the nightgown, but yeah I don't know what this dude had. Definitely issues, mm-hmm. whether it is like illness, mentally, whatever, or just issues with his himself. I don't know, just really weird dude. Yeah. Um, I wonder where he is. Like, if you guys have any roommates that just smell really bad, well, maybe this is this guy. Who knows? 
You didn't expect them. <laughs> You're gonna just start going into people. Everyone that has a smelly roommate is gonna be like, "Where are these suitcases? <laughs> Where are the suitcases? At? I know you have them, Tom." <laughs> For the <laughs> time. What's that night? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that, yeah, I don't know what I would do in this situation. Like, I don't, would you tell him right off the bat and then just try to see maybe he can move out if he doesn't change, or would you like kind of? Try to like maybe talk to him and then just let it go. Like, what do you? I think it would be so awkward, but I would. I think I would try to approach the person yeah. and be like, "Hey, okay, honestly, it's me, Amiga. It's me. Oh, yeah, I would be like, like Amiga, look, honestly, I don't want you to feel bad or anything, but there's something going down down there, and <laughs> you know, <laughs> we are all serious. We can't fucking handle that shit. Like, <laughs> you gotta wipe. You know, I have wipes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking around. But no, I, I, I think I would have just approached you in a way. I would just be like, "Hey, honestly, like." It does smell kind of shitty around, you know, when you're around. <laughs> you're around. I don't know that's any better than that. <laughs> It does smell kind of shitty when you're around. <laughs> don't want to make you feel shitty, but, uh, you know, it's just like, it's an awkward, yeah. I don't know, it's just an awkward thing. Yeah. I think that goes be like, way beyond, like, hey, like, your breath smells, you want, do you want to gum? I yeah. feel like if you're close, even though that's awkward, I'd be like, hey, I mean, I know we just ate something. Like, do, do you uh, want yeah. gum real quick? But when it's like something bigger, Actual, it's like, yeah. shoot. Hey, yeah. amiga, like, oh, como estas? Pero yeah. quédate, like, yeah. aquí, you know? Yeah, that's, that's kind of awkward, though, like. Yeah, I don't know how I would handle the situation. I would for sure, for sure not ask them to move in with me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why would you, dude? Mm -hmm. Like, if this, this kid already smells bad and you know this, did I they know. expect he was going to change? I think like, so. Oh, uh, just one into another. He's just not gonna smell like shit anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. And they lived like that for what a year? More because more they huh? lived Two there years? for the year of university. Yeah, and then they moved in together. Yeah. Fuck no. This uh, they said they were. So Op was saying that they actually had a picture of how it looked, but then they never posted it, dude. So he just left us hanging. <sighs> Maybe here. on Reddit. I think I'm okay with yeah. not seeing that. I, no, I wanted. I wanted to see it. I wanted to see how bad it was. Actually, never mind. It's shit, right? Never mind. I'm good. I'm good. The, the cleaning like, people, the, the the fumigating people, they're like, this is way beyond my pay. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm leaving that there. I would have room. done the same thing. I, I'm like, ah, I can't do fumigate. This is Dude. the oh. fact that they took it out into the garden for them. That's what I wanted. That's to extra. Fuck, yeah. you know? I feel yeah. bad for the mom too. Yeah, uh, you know, crying and stuff. You know, it's just damn, bro. It's actually that's such a good person though. Like she really came over and cleaned to it help, up. Yeah, yeah. That's other people could have just. Just something like that's that was their problem when he was living here. Too bad, you know. Um, what I want to know is how organized was were his shits inside the suitcases, though. He like, has homie, one, homie got two. them all stacked up nicely and yeah. stuff. Or seven suitcases. What if it's like Monday, Tuesday? <gasps> Damn. But also, maybe? I feel like that. How big can you? How much can you shit? Can you fit in the suitcase? Not a whole lot, right? That's probably like the. Not the carry ons, the, the fucking. The, big the ones, extra large ones? <laughs> the, what is yeah. it? Like those huge ones, probably. Yeah. Because yeah, imagine for over like. But it was seven suitcases for two years. So was he piling the rest on like the corners or. I don't know how. I don't well, know. Why are we imagining? I, mean, yeah, I don't want to. I think we're going to move forward with this, but like, <laughs> gosh, that's so weird. Dude. I know.